Hello Cypress, Mayor John Pete here. And this weekend it's Halloween and we're so excited to go out and get candy, dress up, carve pumpkins and have a lot of fun with friends and family. And to do that safely, I'm here with Officer White and we want to talk about some of the things that you can do to make sure that your ghosts and goblins stay safe through the Halloween celebration. Exactly, sir. Safety is a very big part of it. Uh, so drivers, slow down and watch out for more foot traffic in the neighborhood and residential areas. Uh, take time to just look for those trick-or-treaters at intersections, you know, and make sure that you're paying attention when entering or exiting out of the driveways. Parents and trick-or-treaters, make sure your costumes fit properly to prevent trips and falls. Decorate costumes and buckets with reflective tape so you're more visible. Have kids use flashlights or glow sticks to make it easier for drivers to see them, and they're kind of fun too. Uh, walk on sidewalks when available. Avoid darting back and forth in the street or crossing between parked cars. Uh, stick to your familiar areas, okay? So that's very important too. Look both ways before crossing and make eye contact with the drivers just to have that uh, second to make sure everything is okay. And parents should inspect the candy before allowing their kids to consume it. I know I'm gonna be inspecting my little brother's candy and making sure I can consume it. I mean, he can, he can. Yes. Have a great weekend, be safe, and happy Halloween. Hello, me Donut. Hope you can have a spectacular and safe Halloween.